Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing a wash and go on Big Sis hair. So our hair is really ready for a co-wash. We're going to be doing a co-wash. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just start off by washing this hair. I've already sectioned the hair into three parts and we're ready to go. To so start off Big Sis wash and go, I will first rinse off our hair thoroughly just to keep it moist and to soften it and also to remove any product buildup that might be on the hair such as dirt and the next thing I'm going to co-wash our hair with the Eden's Body Works All Natural Cleansing Co-Wash. I use a lot of this product, I'm kind of heavy handed with that but I find that when I do that it really does the cleansing job really well. So washing our hair first and then next working on our scalp area just to loosen up any product buildup that is on the scalp. After that I will proceed to doing the rest of the hair and then rinse the hair thoroughly with some water. Once the hair has been rinsed off, I remove any excess water and the next step for me is just to check a scalp and look and see if there's any areas that I've missed. I'll be using the lock method. So what I'm doing right now is just putting some oil all over a hair and making sure that I also massage some oil into a scalp. Next, I will start working on smaller sections. This is how I'm going to do the wash and go. I'll first apply some oil to the ends of our hair and also to the rest of our hair. Then next, I will be using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. This is going to be my moisturizer for this wash and go. I'm working in small sections and generously applying this moisturizer on our hair. I'm detangling her hair with my fingers. I'm not using a comb to detangle it. And the next thing is I'll put a gel on her hair and we're using the Eco Styler gel. And this gel actually defines the curls. So in washing goes, you only can define curls that you have. As you see, Big says she's a 4C girl. She has a little bit of curls, so she has some 4B in there but it's very hard to define our curls and why i've not done a wash and go in a while just because i have had a hard time defining our curls until i did this wash and go one month challenge and i understood that doing wash and goes does not really mean defining curls it's just a style so she likes her hair soft she doesn't want the crunchy look so that's why i put a lot of conditioner in it and i just take the hair put the gel as much as I need and kind of separate the hair in you know the way that the hair actually normally clumps together so once I'm doing this sometimes the hair will get so dry in the process and I'm just repeating the same thing making sure I saturate with some water apply the conditioner and then apply the gel to it now you can see sometimes we get tangles in there make sure that you thoroughly thoroughly detangle the hair before you start doing this when i talk about how our hair naturally clumps together you can see what i'm showing you right now you see how our hair separates that's what you want to focus on. You want to focus on how the hair separates on its own and just remove those strips of hair individually. You can also rake in the product in the hair. So this is a hair all filled with product, gel and moisturizer. And the next thing is for to shake it. And that's one thing that she enjoyed doing. So after shaking it and kind of letting the hair naturally clump the way it wants to, our very next step will be to kind of dry it a little bit and for that we are going to diffuse our hair. I'm using my diffuser nozzle on my blow dryer and I'm using it on medium heat and on a high setting just to quickly drop a little bit. I do this so that um, the hair will dry faster than normal 
but the next thing that I would do is just to take my concentrated nozzle and then just stretch the base of the hair. Last of all, I put the um, blow dryer on cool and just blow the hair for some volume. So this is the hair. Our hair is not fully dry. <laughs> Our hair is very thick, but this is it and it did dry on later on. So this is our wash and go this is the first time she's doing a wash and go it only gets better from here thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye a lot of people always say that if you're in the category like 4b 4c you can do wash and go and i think i've disproved that logic